Direct News TV June 19, 2023 Russia-Ukraine War, List of Key Events, Day 481 Vladimir Rogov, a Russian-installed official in Ukraine, said Ukrainian forces had captured the village of Piatikatki in the Zaporizhia region, in Kiev's second gain on that front since it launched its counteroffensive earlier this month. Rogov said the Ukrainians had mounted waves of attacks and that hundreds of Ukrainian soldiers had been killed. Russia's defense ministry said its forces repelled a series of Ukrainian attacks across three sections of the front line. The ministry said Kiev was pressing most actively in the Zaporizhia region but did not mention Piatikatki. Ukraine's army said its air force carried out 14 raids on Russian positions and destroyed two anti-aircraft missile systems. Serhii Brachik, the spokesperson for the Odessa military administration, said Ukraine destroyed a significant ammunition depot near the Russian-occupied port city of Henichesk in the southern region of Kherson. The United Kingdom said Russia and Ukraine were suffering high numbers of military casualties as Kiev fights to dislodge the Kremlin's forces from occupied areas. The most intense fighting was in the southeastern Zaporizhia region, around Bakhmut and further west in the eastern Donetsk region, the UK said. The boss of Russia's Wagner Group, Yevgeny Prigozhin, said 32,000 men recruited from Russian prisons had returned home after the end of their contracts with the mercenary force in Ukraine. Diplomacy, an African peace mission on the war in Ukraine that failed to prompt enthusiasm from either Moscow or Kiev was still effective, according to South African President Cyril Ramaphosa. He said the Africans would keep talking to Russian President Vladimir Putin and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on their proposal. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak will ask businesses to step up investment to help Ukraine rebuild at the Ukraine Recovery Conference that starts in London on Wednesday. Zelensky is expected to make a virtual appearance at the two-day event, organizers said. Weapons The European Union's industry chief, Thierry Breton, said the bloc was speeding up arms deliveries to Ukraine in support of the country's counteroffensive against Russian forces. Breton told the French daily Le Parisien that the EU was preparing for the war to last several more months, or even longer. My name is Kingsley. Please like, Share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified whenever we post you won't regret it.